So what do we have here? We have beef lips. <laughs> <laughs> We've never bought them before. We've never even seen them before. I don't no, think. we chanced upon them and it seemed like the perfect opportunity. Yeah, they look kind of not that appetizing. <laughs> no, they're quite gray actually. We're going to make beef lip tacos out of them. Yes, that's right. <laughs> So all the experts can critique us because <laughs> we don't really know what we're doing. This is, see this you think this side looks weird, but the other side is the fun side. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh! When I saw this, this is honestly the first time I've been afraid to eat something. It looks. <laughs> it looks dangerous. It looks terrifying. These like, are, what are these spikes? It's like little teeth or something. The tongue had like small versions of these things. At the this is part. like next level though. Yeah. Well, I tried to look it up on the internet to find out what those spikes are, but if you look up beef lips, it just directs you to all these nasty porn sites. Yeah, <laughs> you have to look up cow. Yeah, do not <laughs> look up beef lips on the internet. <laughs> For your own safety. Not the image <laughs> oh my goodness. But look at they're those. They're fun looking. Pekin peppers. We haven't used these before, but I've always wanted to because they're so little. Are they hot? I think they so. look hot. So here's our braising liquid. It's beef stock, oranges, onion, some herbs, um, salt, Pekin peppers, garlic, and any other random thing that I decided to stick in there. <laughs> well, now we're putting in the lips. Oh, I don't even like touching them, they're nasty. You're so scared of these things, aren't you? I know. This is your job. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to braise for six hours. These are David's balls. <laughs> uh, they're for our tortillas. We're having some flour tortillas. Cow lips have been braising. So in the meantime, we made uh, pico de gallo with red onion. Six hours are up. Now it's time to unveil our beef lips. So you can take them out. Don't scratch our nice ceramic, lovely Le Creuset. Now we have to peel off they any gross shit. Tender. Yeah, they're like falling apart. I think I actually need a slotted spoon or something. Have you ever met a girl that you tried to date? Whoa. Oh, okay. The spiky things tightened up and got tiny. I think that's the stuff you pull off. The other stuff looks like beef cheeks to me. Like that looks very similar to a beef cheek. It does. Probably is the same kind of yeah, tissue. It might be and then with some weird spikes attached. Now that they're cooked, all these little spikes kind of hardened up. You could hear it here. <laughs> they're kind of like a comb now, but. The rest of the meat is super soft and the spike parts are the things we have to take off now. David's removing all the gross spiky things now. Um, so Yeah, they kind of just peel off pretty easy actually, I'd say. Dare you to chew one. No, they're hard. <laughs> In the package they put them the opposite way so like you don't see any spikes while you're buying it and when you bring it home and actually open it up you see all the spikes. It was kind of a shock. I'd be lying if I said I didn't scream. <laughs> so once we have all the meat cleaned up David is gonna chop it up nice and small so that we can eat it in our tacos. We've decided to fry the meat up. Just a little bit. Just to heat it back up and give it a little bit more of a texture. Yeah. Our meat looks really good now. It's all like kind of brown now. I don't know why I was scared. It tastes really, really good. This was kind of an interesting meal because the thing that I thought was going to make the meat taste good, which was the salsa, actually got in the way of how awesome the meat is. Yeah, when you eat it just straight up, it, that's, that's when it's at its best. When it shines. <laughs> <laughs> and my tortillas were kind of disastrous. They tasted like French pastry because of the dark <laughs> fat. Clearly, I need to 
rein in my theory that duck fat is good with everything. We have to leave it for the potatoes. That's true. But I would definitely do this again. Yeah. Um, the exact same way with the same braising liquid. It was, in my opinion, a big The success. same Pekin peppers or whatever they're yes, called. because they're cute and apparently they work really yeah. well. <laughs> And the lips actually take, like, they took on all the braising liquids flavors, like, really well. Like, all the onion and, like, everything. Mm -hmm. It, like, really absorbed it compared to, like, even short ribs and stuff. Well, short ribs, who cares about short ribs? Yeah, I'm over short ribs, but... Short ribs are so five years ago. <laughs> are we being trendy now? I don't know, I guess so. <laughs> Today, are beef lips trendy? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're about I don't to think be. they'll ever be trendy because of the spikes. Yeah, that is I couldn't even find a picture of them on the internet. That's pretty bad. Oh, you saw plenty of beef lips on the Beef internet. lips, but not cow lips. <laughs>